guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. And today we're going to take a look in on my outside bin that has become an inside bin. Um, just for reference, this bin was started about six months ago in June with this 40 gallon tote here. And I went and took and drilled quarter inch holes, which is about six millimeters, around the outside, the bottom, and on the top of the lid. Started this off with about uh, a pound of my Uncle Jim's mix, which is the Red Wigglers, the European Nightcrawlers, and the Blue Worms. Uh, and when it started to get super cold outside, I just couldn't stand it, and I brought it inside at the end of November. So when we did bring it in, uh, there were not any leaves in there. We put those in last time. It was a little bit too wet, uh, and that was the reason behind putting the, the extra leaves in. They hadn't finished any of their uh, food from the last time they were fed, and um, so we didn't give them any more food last time. But it looks like the red wigglers are still surviving. I didn't really get a good look at the, the population here, but it seemed to be that I had at least, you know, I still had my pound of worms. So today we're going to take a look in here, um, evaluate the moisture, and also there's a little baby worm, so they are reproducing. See if there's any other weird bugs in here. Last time we found a slug and some sort of chrysalis. So I'm going to check in here. The moisture looks better. I think the leaves have been doing a good job sopping it up. So we're just going to start at one side and go to the other and see what's going on here. It looks like we have a healthy population of pill bugs. Now last time I was using gloves uh, because there was a significant spider population in here when it lived outside. And then when we looked through it last time, there really wasn't. So I feel okay wearing are not wearing gloves this time. I don't have any hand injuries that would, you know, maybe cause me to get infected or anything, so I'm okay not to wear gloves. If you uh, don't feel comfortable, you know, that's fine too. When you're in your own bins, you know, they're your bins. Do what you want. Um, I have nail brushes, so I don't really have a prob problem getting my hands dirty. So the worms look healthy. And I am kind of going through it pretty carefully to make sure we don't have any other new weird critters in here. I'm trying to go down to the bottom to make sure that if the moisture is still not quite right, uh, I can put the leaves at the bottom to help sop up any of the, the extra moisture. So here on the edge, on this side, I don't believe we're going to find any food. I think the food was right in the middle. I did watch the last video and we put the leftover food from back when it was outside in the middle. Uh, one of the good things about this size hole, there's not going to be any um, mice or anything like that from the outside that gets in it. We do have a healthy population of raccoons and moles and voles here where I live in Illinois. So I tried to make the hole, you know, good enough to get good air in here, but not, not big enough to let critters in. Um, you know, I want the worms to eat the food. I don't want animals getting in the bin using it for a house. Um, in the basement here, did uh, tighten up some of the holes we had last year that caused me to have a rat in the basement. If that sounds like something you want to watch, check the um, the videos from last winter. Right around Christmas time, that dumb thing was here and was dispatched. It took me too long. It, it actually started eating worms. Had to take all the worms and it was a pain in the butt. So it looks like I've still got roots from a, a plant. The blue jeans are making progress here. Look at that. That's nice. It gives me hope for my other project with the blue jeans. So this bin has been running for about six months, but I think, you know, with only one pound of worms and a 40 gallon tote, you know, I shouldn't have super high expectations for the population unless, of course, there was uh, uh, volunteers that came in from the outside world. And I think either that happened or they did multiply pretty nicely in here. I'm not sure. But I'm willing to bet looking at the population density, there's at least a pound of worms, if not more. 
Um, I'm also not seeing the food from last time, so it looks like they ate those hamburger buns and tomatoes. So we'll be able to give them some more food here as soon as we get done looking at the bin. So it looks like they have not eaten all the blue jeans and the weedings. So it looks like we're doing pretty good. And lots of dirt, which I think is actually for real dirt. It's um, had some sod that I had been removing, and that's what I used to start the bin with. So that's why it still seems like there's pretty heavy, heavy clumpy stuff here. But since the bin is pretty full, I'm not going to continue to add bedding. I'm just going to let it dry out and keep feeding them this winter. Speaking of feeding them, they're going to get some nice scraps, some onions, and some oranges, and tea bags. Since there's not a huge population, I think this will be okay. And uh, if you are new to my channel, I do feed citrus and I do feed acidic things. The worms will get around to it after the you know, bacteria get into it. They don't seem to be bothered by it at all. So, do you have an outside bin of your own? Put that in the comments below. Um, do you have it outside? Do you leave it there all winter? What zone do you live in? You know, how cold does it get where you, um, where you live? Uh, I brought this in because it does, we do get temperatures that are 30 to 50 degrees below freezing here. Um, and so I just really did not feel comfortable with losing the whole population of worms, so I brought it inside. I know a lot of people are like, oh, they're not pets, they just do what they do, but, you know, they are in an artificial system, and I just did not want to risk losing the whole bin. So it looks like the moisture is evening out, didn't see any more weird bugs, and now they're going to get themselves some new food. I'm going to give them a little cover-up, and then they can have their own lid. So this, the outside bins that I have do have their own playlist, which I can link at the end screen. And then if you just want to look at the last video, I can put that up in the top right now. All right, guys, if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.